My initial ambition when I started making it was to get good peanut butter for myself to eat. That was all it was about really, just to have something decent to eat. I was cross when they started putting sugar in peanut butter. I thought, oh, I could sell this at the market and pick up my $200. So I made peanut butter on Friday morning, sold it at the market Friday afternoon, got my $200 back. And I was quite happy with that for a while. And then it started sort of growing and more people started ordering it. And it, yeah, it just grew from there, really. My key measures of, of success have been the loyalty that our customers show. You know, the people who buy our product and really love it and feel a personal ownership of it. Uh, I never imagined this would happen, but it, it has, and they're very keen to see us succeed. I guess another measure of success is just that boring old one that we manage to pay the bills every month on time, and the other one is employing people. It's been really amazing to be able to offer people work, and our staff numbers keep growing, so we're providing work for more and more people. I have macular degeneration so my eyesight is uh, pretty impaired, I, I can't drive and I can't read so I've had to get over that but it has been a real benefit to me because I've had to get other people in to do stuff so I've hired people to do the things that I used to hate doing anyway and we've ended up with this huge team of people who can do you know, things so much better than I ever could. If I could see I'd be fixing the machine, setting up new software and all that stuff. Uh, but because of this um, situation with my eyes, I've had to get other people in to do things and things have just gone berserk and I've ended up doing stuff I really, really love, which is talking to people, you know, and, and selling my peanut butter. The hardest challenge that we face in New Zealand is, the, is, the, our sort of, is that sort of humility, you know, where, oh, you know, well, try this, it's really nice kind of thing rather than, have a go, this is the best peanut butter in the world, you know? So I think, I think New Zealand, has, have, we have to get over that sort of cringe thing and say, yes, look, we are the best in the world. We can, we are, we're not just a world-class country. There's a little bit of a culture in New Zealand that, oh, you know, it's only us, we're a bit little to do anything. And so I think we need to get over that. We've ended up with a very competitive product. I, I was, uh, when I started, I had, I had no inclination that we could ever compete with the big guys, you know. I thought we'd just be a little niche peanut butter maker. But just this beginning of this year we found that we were outstripping every other peanut butter maker in New Zealand. All the big companies, we're way ahead of them on sales and we're still growing. So it's, it's, it's really been extraordinary for us. And, but now we're finding there are other peanut butter makers have started up, they're seeing what we're doing, I guess, and, and they think, well, we'll have a piece of that. Uh, to my mind, though, uh, we, we rely on our customers. So we have incredibly loyal customers. We have people who just love our product, love our work, and are so happy to see us doing well. And so we just make sure that we, we look after our customers, and I, and I think that's, that's the key thing. We've done really well in New Zealand. We've got we've become the best-selling peanut butter in New Zealand, and uh, our export markets are the next ones we're looking at. We've got good traction in Australia. We've just got our first order from Coles Supermarkets in Australia, and so if we want to sell that through, so that's our next challenge is to make sure when that, once that peanut butter's gone into the shelves in Australia, it sells out and they reorder. After that, we've got the UK and we've got America, so we're already selling. Uh, peanut butter in both those markets and they're doing well but only on small volumes so those are our next challenges, that's exports.